Well, hello there, my darlings. Welcome to the wireless show. I'm a woman, obviously, and when I'm not trolling the presenters of QVC on Twitter, I love nothing more than throwing my head back and laughing like an absolute twat. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Up next is a very serious and very political sketch. The United Kingdom's position is clear. Russia must revoke her claim over North Turkestan with immediate effect and withdraw her forces from the area. We in Russia feel that perhaps the United Kingdom is not the one to speak of sovereignty and empire, given the country's colonial past. Ambassadors, please. We, the United Nations, must have order. The world is depending on us to find a peaceful solution. I now ask our special envoy to speak to the house. Perhaps his experience and sound judgment can resolve this matter. Hear me now. Far and wide, Chandra Paul ain't gonna take you for no ride. From the Kremlin to the chimes of Big Ben. Are you feeling Sean Paul at the UN? Boom! Letting them know, Dr. to you. Ambassador Paul, no one here doubts your diplomatic abilities and your encyclopedic knowledge of world history. Shanta Paul knows his history, from Ho Chi Minh to Agatha Christie. But how can we resolve this crisis? Wagwan! Ambassador Paul, they want us to withdraw from no North Turkestan, but everyone knows it is in Russia. Always has been, always will be. Shanta Paul could be your protector, your buffer in every sector. Every country around Dakistan want to turn your inspector. Say dot to you. Dot to you. But Ambassador Paul, how exactly would we enact that in the binding international law? To the UN I'll be charging, and not leaving till y'all stop mocking. All the soldier come back and stop marching, and I see myself with a peace deal that's locking. Boom! Say dot to you. That's that's the Good God, he's right. Of course. It is so simple. Ambassador Paul, you saved the planet once again. When we go to the club, don't start preaching. Shanta Paul here a good time seeking. Say peace. And so, Ambassador Sean Paul made his way into the world, healing hearts, mending broken bones, and spreading peace wherever he went. If you are ever in need of his help, all you have to do is call out the magic words. Say daddy, yeah! Isn't music lovely? My parole officer always used to say, let the world be your musical score and your body your instrument. Of course, if someone approaches you in the street and says they want to strum you, be very careful how you reply, as it could define you as a person for the rest of your days. Speaking of music, we now have a world exclusive. Bob Dylan's little-known cover of Carly Rae Jepsen's Call Me Maybe. Here's a snippet. I just met you, and this is crazy. But here's my number, so call me, maybe. Oh, Bob, you never cease to amaze. And another dashing stallion of manhood who never ceases to amaze is this next chap. Mm. Meanwhile, in Gotham City, the caped crusader faces his most challenging adversary. You the driving instructor? I sure am, Petal. Jump on in. Now I know you must be nervous. Batman doesn't get nervous. But today we'll be taking the extended version of the test, so hopefully you can get your driving license back. So first things first, can you check your mirrors for me, please? Can you turn your head in that armor, darling? Of course I can. I can do anything. I'm Batman. 
Why do you have nipples carved into your chest plate? Have you just come from a gay bar? It's anatomically accurate. What, for a half man, half bat? If you wanted to be more accurate, you should be covered in hair. I don't need to turn my head. I use my bat-like senses to get perfect understanding of my surroundings. Hmm, but not a perfect understanding of the highway code, though. That was just a misunderstanding. You rammed a circus van full of clowns into a brick wall at 116 miles an hour. The Joker was on the loose. Those clowns were changing lanes very aggressively. They were on their way to a fundraiser for traumatized orphans. Don't you talk to me about traumatized orphans. The penguin. There's no time to lose. Let's roll. But you didn't check your blind spot. Hold on. Watch the roundabout. What roundabout? Ah! Where are the forward missile controls? The what? I need to activate the real shielding. I don't understand a word you're saying, love. Does this car have anything that could disable the penguin's getaway car? Well, that was just embarrassing. <laughs> It's the Gotham PD. Pull over. But the penguin... So pull this car over right now. You can tell them why we were going 94 miles an hour in a 20 zone. We'll see about that. Batman away! <coughs> what, what are you doing? Have you got the chart locks on? Yes, I have. You've got some explaining to do. Man... I'll never hear the end of this from Alfred. I don't see what's so strange about a mentally unhinged man dressing in rubber and getting into fights. That's how the majority of Brighton spends its weekends. Oh, I do love the seaside. Those quaint little B&Bs you find nestled away. Up next, we're checking into the world-renowned Hotel Salford. Ta-da! You better be shitting me, Gary. You want me to stay here for our 20th wedding anniversary? Well, Sophie, love, this is Hotel Salford, an international place for culture, class and excellence. It, it's a hidden gem. Well, if it's so good, Gary, why is no one here? Hello! My name's Jock and I'm the hotel owner. Do you have a booking? Yes, it, it's under the name Smith. OK, let me have a look in the book. Why is he pretending to be Scottish? Maybe he's had a fall. Ask him. I'm not asking him. Ask him, Gary. Ah, uh, here we are. Three nights for Mr. and Mrs. Smith. A dirty weekend so you can use your wee willy winky, eh? <laughs> How dare you talk about my husband's wee willy winky. Gary, aren't you going to say anything? Yes. Yes, I am. I bloody well am. What time is breakfast served? Gary! Sorry, sorry, love. <coughs> Don't you talk about my wee willy winky. And stop pretending to be Scottish. What do you mean? I am Scottish. No, you're not. You're putting on a silly voice and someone needs to tell you that you sound like a dick. Madam, you do realise it's Scottish Week at Hotel Salford? Scottish Week. This is a themed hotel. Every week, we're a different country. A themed hotel? Oh, I feel sick. Gary, did you know about this? Ah, well, I did wonder why the woman on the phone was aborigine. Come on, love, let's make the most of it. There's been a murder. Ha <laughs> ha, that's a spirit, yeah. You should have been here last week. Everyone was South African. Wow, who are you? No one is born with racism in the heart. We only learn to hurt. That is why tonight, at seven o'clock, we have karaoke. I didn't know Chris Eubank was South African. Gary! This is not how I want to spend my 20th wedding anniversary. Walking around like a tosser pretending to be Zimbabwean, talking to other tossers pretending to be Welsh. It's ridiculous! What you saying, my fan, way? It's all right, Owen. Go back to the kitchen, I'll deal with this. Madam, I know it's a little odd, but why don't you stick around? Tomorrow, we're doing a Big Brother special. Dear 16 in the hotel house. And tonight, in the social room, Barbara will be Michael Jackson. That's amazing. Are you up for it, love? No, Gary. I am not up for it. This was supposed to be a lovely weekend where I could try and remember why I married you. This has confirmed it. I married you because I'd gone momentarily mental. Well, no longer. You have dropped your final bollock. 
Sophie, love, where, where's this come from? I love you. It's I... over, Gary. It was over five years ago, when I slept with your brother. What? But I don't have a brother. Oh. Well, I slept with someone. Goodbye. Cheer up, laddie. I can't believe she's left me. No one has born. Shut up! You know what? This is all your fault. You and your stupid hotel. You give me one good reason why I shouldn't just burn this place down with you inside. Because our theme next week is it's Thai Brides. Bangkok Bonanza. That's the best anniversary present a man could ever get. Welcome to Hotel Salford. Well, the hour is late and I can feel a water infection coming on. It's been a real treat speaking to you all. If anyone's free later, I'll be in the Garter and Gusset Cocktail Lounge from nine until next Tuesday. Toodle pip, my darlings. Oh, <laughs>